Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people and huge welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Got a bit of a cloudy day, so if the sun's coming and going and doing weird things, I do apologise. Windows everywhere in my home and a puppy dog fast asleep. <laughs> Isn't it life great? Okay, um, I'm only going to do the one video today um, because feels like we're in a um, paused moment. There's uh, a lot happening, but not really a lot happening, if that makes sense. North Korea's um, satellite in a country where millions are starving uh, blew up or didn't launch or whatever happened. Paxton is threatening uh, the Texas House. Um, I believe he's done some by phone call, so... Yeah, he'll be on record for that as well. There's audio recording that's come out of Trump uh, from 2021 where he was admitting that the documents that he had in his possession were classified and they were in regards to a potential uh, attack on Iran. <laughs> and um, Gates is threatening to oust McCarthy as Speaker due to a deal being violated Love to know what's in that deal, but if you're wondering, I did do a reading on that uh, a while ago and it will come out. I think it was a three-page demand from the MAGA far rights. Um, so, yeah, that will come out eventually. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm in the 1st of June. You guys are over the other side of the world are in the 31st of May. Um, doc, uh, information has come out reported by Sky. I couldn't find it anywhere else. And, Sky is our version of Fox, so I'm always a bit dubious about um, uh, um, a warning to Putin that he better pack his bags and get out of town. A bit hard from the icebox he's in at the morgue, but let's see what it go how it goes. And um, I actually had a the most vivid dream last night of a Putin body double uh, being shot twice, once there and once in the lower lung area. So see how it plays um okay what i'm just going to have a look at because um just is what it is we feel like we've paused at the moment i'm going to do the one video and i'm going to have a reading on trump and i do laugh using my trip and weight tarot and when i split the deck prosecution and reaping what you sow just i'm going to have a look at trump's week so see how it goes Trump's week only because it's uh, Reaping what you sow, heartbreak, loss, despair, as the truth pierces through and the eye sees all. I just, it, there's just something there. Um, I'm not feeling huge. Oh, Pence is poised to announce his nomination as well. I'm not feeling with any of those that have announced yet other ones that are going to be the nominee. So we'll just, when one comes forward and I have a holy crumbs moment, I'll read on that particular person. If there's anything you want me to read on, put in the comments below or email me at meistertarot at gmail.com. But let's have a look. I want to have a look. How's Trump's week going to go? Let's have a look. Just the overall energies of Trump's week. Just to keep my finger in and to keep you guys up to date with the news. Let's have a look. What have we got there? The DOJ. The DOJ. Talking to people about things that happened overseas or in relation to things that were overseas. Let's have a look. Trump's week. Trump's week. Show me Trump's week. Trump's week. Neighbour's dog, two doors up, barked all night. So if I'm a bit weary, I do apologise. Trump's week. You want that one? Do you want that one? No, you want that one left there. Okay, got to listen to them. Come on down. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Right. Oh, so why has foreign money come out? Well, that wouldn't surprise me, but here's the, sorry, I'll just adjust that light, see if I can get a little bit better for you. Uh, it's my Russia, Saudi, whatever card there is the signifier card. It's also something significantly new coming forward as well. So whether it's this audio, let's see where it goes. 
two major arcana. Greed, corruption, uh, chained himself to the toxic um, warmongering energy. Wow. Okay, something new coming forward, significantly new in regards to him being chained to this toxic energy. But I'm also going to play that as this foreign money card. Wouldn't be, or foreign influence card. Okay, energies behind the scenes for Trump. Prosecution? Oh, well, it really does hand to the information that came the for this morning about the audio recording. The prosecutors and entrapped by his own messaging. People walking away, being abandoned. But I, I know some readers have this as their celebration card. This is how I read this card myself personally. And I always see it as being rah, rah, rah in the middle because they're always in the middle of this message that they're putting out. And just about every deck either has them entrapped and clinging on to each other or people walking away. So I always have this as entrapped by their own messaging. Yeah, so, okay, Trump. Prosecutors trapping him by his own messages. In regards to money deals made, fool's gold that he was offered, and he's been forced to walk away. He's been forced to walk away or others are walking away from him. Emotionally walking away. Okay. I don't know that he has any emotions, but let's see where this goes. Karma hanging over him. Something completely out of left field that even an old cynic like me will be surprised at. As if anything could surprise me in regards to Trump. But yeah. Okay. Something completely out of left field coming forward for him. Oh, man, these are not good cards for if I was in Trump's skin. The Ace of Swords, the truth cutting through, piercing the crown, but cutting through a significant truth coming forward out of left field. Oh, boy, in regards to these energies. I'll keep, I'll put those like that so you can still see them. Normally I lay them up, but right. Outcome. Again, sorry about the light. <laughs> it's, uh, I wiggle everywhere in this room. Um, yeah, reaping what he sows. He's going to have to reap what he sows this week. Here are the authorities coming forward about his poor choices and strengths. Is that strength in the case? Let's keep pulling on this. Strength that will lead to loss and disappointment for him. I'm going to say it's his strength in the information that's coming forward. And here we have his frantically trying to balance his star, but it's also my card for what's going to come forward is going to serve what is best of democracy. Now, democracy isn't a fabulous, the ultimate system, but it's sure of a hell of a lot better than it, all the other alternatives out there. has its flaws, but it's the best that there is. Okay, on the base, we have the mercenary actions with the Knight of Pentacles, a whistleblower coming forward with the Page of Swords. Oh boy, I wonder who handed over this audio recording. Wow. The fool, exposing his foolishness, his rah-rah need to be seen with the seven of wands. I know some readers have this as the victory card, but it's rarely, rarely ever victory uh, when I do a reading. It's about a very uncomfortable position where you you are fully, he is being fully exposed. And those in the background are going, what the heck? And they're turning away. So this is about the the information. It, it's about it's. If I say it's braggetting to be seen, it's like going on untruth social and ranting away. It's to me, it's always um, that sort of information. 
and he's going to have to defend himself. Right, I'll keep going because here are the voters. The voters, internal security within the US. So honestly, he's taken on the military in regards to these classified documents. Um, it's like Santos and Paxton really peeving off the moneyed oligarchs and the donors. You know, you just don't do that. Um, Burden of messaging with the 10, but it's also an end of a cycle that he's going to find himself under this burden of messaging because here it is being brought forward. He's going to end up with battered and bruised with his back up against the wall. And again, the Queen of Swords, the prosecutors coming forward. The Knight of Cups, an offer being made about what has not yet been known secrets that he would like to be kept hidden, being fully revealed. These aren't good cards for Mr. Trump. Okay, I might uh, leave that reading there. It was just a curious what's coming up for him this week and in light of what has been exposed. Um, the Ken Paxton in Texas with the votes, um, I, it's, it's, befuddling me as I find out more and more information. So he had gone on Bannon in early 2021 and bragged about how he had prevented the ballots from being uh, sent, two and a half million ballots being sent out. So that's a little correction on my behalf. Um, to Harris County, because peak of the peak of the pandemic, didn't uh, went to the uh, Texas Supreme Court got his what got his way basically to prevent ballots being sent out to Texas, uh, to Harris County because he knew that was a strong Dem uh, population, uh, claiming that people could always vote in person. Yeah, right in the middle of a raging pandemic, right? This and you've got Lieut Lieutenant Governor Patrick or whatever his name is going. The old people should voluntarily get COVID and die for the sake of the economy. But there's new information coming out in regards to that. When I was Googling about um, Paxton stealing votes or something, there came up a, a court case about um, Paxton uh, bringing court cases against other states to say, well, they hid votes. They hid votes under the table, suitcases of votes. I believe it was thrown out, but it was Missouri and Georgia and Pennsylvania um, to say, well, they did it. So let's see how that plays. Okay, thank you for joining me. Have a fabulous day. I'll catch you later. Look after yourselves. Love to you all.